Hello everybody. Welcome back to some Lego Star Wars. As you can see, we are back on Kashyyyk to run around and get some more uh, Kyber bricks and whatnot and what have ya. Uh, there's a lot, but apparently there's 14 of these sandcastles, so I mean that'll cut down. That cuts out quite a few of these markers that we have. Gonkalina this time has a door to open. The forest gonk. But yeah, I don't know how long this part will be just because after we uh, clear Kashyyyk here, we'll have a quick peek through our list of stuff to see if uh, anything else that's new opened up. And uh, if it did, we'll go and get that, but if not, it'll just be the end of the part, I guess. Because next time we'll uh, end up finishing episode three, and then we'll be two thirds of the way done the game, despite I think not even having half of the collectibles yet. Also, Cat, you got you got a gun. You should probably use that. There you go. See, gun. Although I'm not entirely sure why you were firing above that guy's head. Was it warning shot? Oh, I heard a gong. You know, Wookiees have always been weird to me in the Star Wars universe. I think I talked about this maybe once before, but it seems like they're always like, oh, they're such great warriors. They're so strong. They do, you know, yada, 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 right? But then, like, whenever a new Star Wars thing comes out, be it a video game or a movie, the Wookiees are enslaved. And it's like, if they're so strong and powerful like why does it keep happening to them and like the planet they're on oh it's so dangerous for anybody but a Wookiee to be on and yet once again the Wookiees still managed to get enslaved and their planet taken over granted most movies have scenes like this where it's like you know at the beach at the edge of the forest and uh I mean, the games will take you down into, like, the main area of the, uh, of the tree, of, like, the giant trees, and then down underneath them, I can't remember what it's called, um, where it's dark, and all, like, the actual monsters live, or, like, all, like, the actual dangerous things live and whatnot, but... So, I mean, I guess maybe they aren't managing to take over the entire planet, but at the same time, I, I don't know that Wookiees, like, travel outside of their own planet voluntarily into the slot. Nice, she did a flip. That an invulnerable trooper. Anyway, but yeah, let's you know just why Wookie seem weird. To me. Also, didn't realize that you could just quick throw your lightsaber. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess in the uh... do they go to Kashyyyk in the original trilogy? I'm not sure. Come to think of it, if they do or not. Like I said it's been like for fucking ever that I've watched the original trilogy, or that since I've watched any Star Wars really. Thank you. 
Um, and awesome. But like I know when I was playing Knights of the Old Republic not too long ago, uh, the Wookiees were enslaved there. Or the Wookiees were being enslaved at that point. I guess they weren't technically enslaved yet. But it was like in the pro. Well, I mean, there was a bunch of them that were, I guess, so. Oh. Right, the plastic Lego isn't waterproof somehow. Uh, uh, yeah, in this one, you know, they're being overrun and, like, the other ones are all being <sighs> overrun and it's like, alright, I can understand, like, you know, the technology. Just give me a piece of sabotage. Get them! Oh, look at that, there was multiple, oh, whoops. Oh, also what? This is what we trade for. He has a gun? I didn't know that. That's... That's cool. Lightsabers and a gun. Sadly, I think the gun does more damage. Also, apparently he doesn't like... Bane there. Huh. Yeah, didn't know that. Anyway. Uh, did I not get it, though? Because it still shows the marker on it. Huh. Maybe it was because of the way I did it, but I don't think that I can use this now that I've blown up the front. Also, it's weird that they have two ways to do it. But both ways require the same character class. Oh, you're an actual quest. What do you got? Oh, I see. And now that marker's disappeared. Okay. I just hadn't actually got the reward yet. Okay, let's see if there's a... There. Oh, yeah, it looks like we just need to... Get some boxes stacked up there. don't make me travel too far. Although I'm not seen anymore. That was worth a shot, right? Try and get it to balance on me. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's going to, though. Down there isn't gonna work because that's even lower. It's closer, but it's. I feel much lower than it is closer. Oh, it's so close, too. I need one more at most. Like. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other ones, though. So, unless I'm missing, like, something in this tree... Come on. 
No, you're not just gonna let me sit in the tree. I mean, that makes sense, but I'm just really hoping. Because, I mean, like I said, I can put them down here. But that's so much lower. Yeah, like that, so yeah, I'm like further away than I was for sure. Oh, oh. Yeah, and even that doesn't help. Um. Definitely not the way you're supposed to do it, but let's see. How may I be of assistance? I'll keep this one. Jam in there. No. There we go. Now I have more height. Oh god, I can't. Camera, please stop being a dick. See, I saw the leaf there, but then I was like, that's ah, just, you know, decoration. Should've known, it's a Lego game. When in doubt, destroy. So often it's the answer. <sighs> God, so many markers. Now that we have that uh that tracker. It is nice though, because it does weed out some of the uh the map glitches there where they're showing us shit that doesn't actually exist anymore. So that's always nice. It is kind of weird that I don't think any of the, uh, because, like, we have character packs from Andor and the Mandalorian and stuff, right? But, like, as far as I know, there's no quests associated with them. Like, they didn't, like, all they gave was character packs. Like, they didn't bother to, uh... actually like put anything from there uh, from it in there which is weird because like in uh i want to say it may have just been like the episode 7 lego game oh good lord there's a lot of mind control dudes over there um where oh where is our last Uh, power cell. Huh. Anyway. Uh, they, uh, had a bunch of shit for their DLCs, like... Uh, cause yeah, they covered, like, a bunch of different stuff. And the funny thing about that was that they covered a bunch of different stuff that probably should have been covered in the movies. 
Although, come to think of it, that may not have even been DLC in that game. That may have just been part of the game. Come to think of it. I don't know. It's always nicer, though, when they... Not necessarily like you have to... Uh, that like you have to play through them to unlock the characters before you can use them like that. I don't really care about. But just like having a story mode that involves the new characters is always nice. Huh. So, I don't know. Dead or sleeping? I mean, I could talk to him, so I'm going to guess not dead. Okay, so there's something out at the end of those. Which could very well be like a glide point by the looks of it. God, navigating this place is like the uh, stupid little Ewok village. I mean, there's still stuff at ground level, though. So I don't really want to go up. Come on. Hey -o. Okay, so there's all the sand castles. Oh, this guy has a quest for us. Some still remain. The whoop troop. Don't worry, I'll save you. We got company. Gotcha now. You got me now. I don't think you do. Still can't get over that they use like muskets. Never knew that. I all I the only thing I ever knew they used was the bow casters. Unfortunately, I don't think my force push yeah, would kill them. <laughs> it really unfortunately just kind of... There we go. Put them into a location that I can reach, though. Is that all of them now? Here, Good time, Private. Uh, I knew linking the cost machine up to the full power grid was a bad idea. There we go. Come out, come out, Mr. Wookie. I just want to tickle your belly with my blaster. Yeah, that's weird. It's very weird. I see that my partner is of no help. Considering he's still running around with the fucking net launcher, which I don't think works on people. Hello? Hello? Anyone out there? Yeah. Building, though. Oh. Hello? Magnet Hello? thing. Anyone out there? We're moving. Everyone hang on to something. Quick, put that down before. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's one of the walker things. One of the big walkers. Oh, I see. Nope, nope. I think I just killed my partner. Get up. There we go. Sweet freedom! Success! Oh, what? Come on. Oh. Uh, is the brick at least gonna pop up for me? 
Well, that's nice of it. Because I was going to say, I saw it in there. It's kind of weird that as soon as uh, I attached to the grapple point that she let it sink again. Or she let go of the crane. Yeah, I read you of the clone threat. I mean, I didn't talk to them after I saved them. They were saved. That's what was. That's what mattered. Uh, can't get off that. Let's see. Do I climb this thing? No. It looks like I gotta go up and around. Okay. Anything else close to the ground, ish? Yeah, a little. Oh, I think I see a vine that I'll need to swing for this one. I, uh, been playing Hogwarts Legacy, right? So, you know, I was looking up some stuff, so now, I, uh, which linked me to the, the Reddit for the game, and, uh, so now, you know, whenever I'm bored at work browsing Reddit, I get recommended posts from there. Ended up in an argument. Because apparently people are claiming that the main character in the game is a psychopath because they run around killing people. So I pointed out the fact that they try and kill you first. And I got into an argument with some fucking moron. About, uh... How, you know, they're trying to kill you first, so it's, you know... If you try and take my life, then you forfeited the right to yours, right? You know, you're trying to kill me. I have every right to kill you back. And uh, one of his arguments, I shit you not, was that because you keep defending yourself, you end up killing more people than any of the people that you that you're fighting. So. And I called him out on it. I'm like, so if you're in a room with a thousand people, you need to figure out who's killed the most, and then to still be a good person, let them kill you before you reach the same number. Like, it's just like a, like, oh my god, such a ridiculous argument. I don't know where the fourth one is. Oh, I think I do now. Because I don't think I got that one. Um, shit. but yeah, and it's like, sure, like, there's thing, and not to mention it, but he kept even saying, like, your character enjoys doing it, and it's like, so, I mean, I even just straight up asked him, it's like, okay, can you provide me the di the lines of dialogue that shows your character enjoying killing people? Surprisingly enough, he never got back to me after I asked him for that. Because, you know, it's not there. I mean, I haven't finished the game yet, but, like, from what I've done so far, it seems like they're doing the classic video game thing where they're keeping the gameplay and actual canon story separate. So, like, yeah, you're running around killing a fuck ton of people, but no, you're not. You know, like, because, like, none of the characters really react. Like, they comment on you getting into fights, and they comment on you defeating people. But at no point do they, like, comment on, like, oh, uh, look at all the people that have, like, they, ne they, they never act like the people you're fighting die. And, like, you could argue that, you know, your basic wand spell or whatever isn't, uh, and, like, the spells that you're using don't kill them. Like, you could make that argument. It, at least for right now in my character playthrough. 
but later on you do get the fucking death curse <laughs> that you can cast that instantly kills them. So I mean, uh, and I mean the thing is, right? Is if you want to talk about like you know problems with the way the story is presented and whatnot, why not go for like the ones that actually make sense that are both gameplay and story canon? You know, because like you have, like I said, the uh. Like, you have the combat that doesn't really get mentioned, so may not be canon to what's actually occurring. But... At the same time, you do also have the poachers and whatnot that are canon, and the knapsack that you use, which is canon. And gets mentioned where they tell you about the evil poachers that are going into these beast dens and taking the beasts from their homes and then the way that you save them is you go into the beast dens and kidnap them from their homes now for in all fairness you're taking them somewhere that um, you know they won't be killed and you'll actually look after them. But it's still one of those things where it's like, I mean, really? This like this is your this is your grand plan. Okay, that was weird. You wanna actually get that up here? Oh, I see it bonked on that. Um Because, like, all, and the thing about that, right, is all they would have had to do to make it, make it make sense is instead of having the beast dens be the primary location where you go to get bees, is just make it, because there's poacher camps all around the map, so all they would have had to do was just make it so that at the poacher camps they have these beasts that you can then rescue from the poachers right but no you just straight up do the exact same thing the poachers do except where they end up with you they don't die but you're still removing them from their natural habitat which is a weird kind of logic because <sighs> like yeah you're still technically better than the poachers but at the same time it's like by how much like yeah they're not dying but you're still forcefully removing them from their homes um down to there, but there's other... kits that look like they're around the outside here. But anyway, yeah, like that thing, you know, if you want to argue about the main character doing something bad, or being a bad person, go with that. Like, don't go with something that you can't even say is canonically happening, you know? I want to go that way. But I don't know. I can. I mean, I can bring these crates up. And hook them up so that I uh, can get height. Nope, I can't. They disappear if I leave them there, apparently. Yep, they do not want those crates there. 
I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to glide over from that tree instead. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything down there. Because the only other thing I see is over there. Oh, although... Now that I say that, I do see... Aha! But yeah, a fun game though. I'm uh almost to the point where I'm gonna explore the open world. <laughs> I uh I just got the, the final uh collectible unlock. because uh, you gotta make it quite a ways before you can use the uh the astromancy tables. Okay, that's where I just was. So what is the point to me coming up here? I mean, once again, I can glide over there, but... Uh, I mean, there's... Yeah, I guess. There's no point to me. Uh, so yeah, I might, next time I play, potentially after I'm done recording this. Uh, start, well, not after I've done recording this, but after I've done recording today, in general. Ooh. Is this the same door that I just opened? Yep, sure is. That's weird that it closed on me again, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I might start. Yeah, I didn't think I would go that far running around the open world doing stuff because so I've been kind of just pushing it to the side pushing it to the side and only doing anything in like the countryside that I had to for a quest because uh, I wanted to make sure I could get all the collectibles first <sighs> oh. okay Although, I guess maybe I should talk to him. A medium low note. A low note. A medium high note. And the very highest note. Alright. Uh, okay. I'm guessing that the high note goes on the highest one then. medium high and you were medium oh no you were low why is this guy here that's very weird There we go. Wookie, we'll good singing. <laughs> Not like. Somebody had fun making that iteration of that song. Thanks, buddy. That was a good one. I like that one. <laughs> oh, it's so good. God. See, it's shit like that that makes LEGO games great. Oh, yeah, we never did find the other uh, power cell, did we? I'll plug this one back in. And then assume that the other one is, like, up the tree or something. Because it's got to be close enough that it won't reset the, uh... The plugs. Found it. Uh, this way. 
I've seen these around. What are they supposed to be? Like, they kind of look like storage crates, but I don't know why you would have, like, the divot in them if they're storage crates, you know? It's very odd. Kind of looks like a really uncomfortable table and with, like, attached seating, you know? Which, I mean, I guess it could be. be weird, but... Star Wars. So, your partners just don't like sprint, then, eh? Like, that's what I'm learning from from this, is that you're if somebody's following you and you start sprinting, they're just like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Which I can respect, but on a personal level, but from a video game standpoint, it's kind of weird that they didn't give your partner sprint. Slider. Eight seconds, eh? Well, I mean, it's a glide, so it can only be so far. Yeah, I mean, that's not... Please tell me you're still up there. Yes. Awesome. I was gonna say, because, like, I think I even have the... Uh, the skill... Oh, I don't know what just happened there. Apparently I was too close to the tree and she started to slide. Because, yeah, I think I even have the ability unlocked where you glide for longer, so. I mean, that's one that may as well just be, you know, complete the course. open with, with CAD. Who would think that there would be a Lego game where a sand person, whatever the hell those guys are called, the Tuscan Raider, was more useful than a fucking bounty hunter? Like, in a Lego game. Like, really, who ever, like, who would have thought that, that would ever occur? Considering that in, like, every other Lego Star Wars, the bounty hunter is, like, the only character that matters. <laughs> like... Like, three quarters of the stuff uh, that you can do in the game, you can do with a bounty hunter. Because, I mean, they get the uh, the guns that can break the gold stuff. They get the grenades that can break the silver stuff. And I think it was maybe in the complete Saga Lego game. Where, like, so much of the stuff was locked behind bounty hunters abilities because they, I think they still had like their own doors that they could open and shit as well like from what I remember it was just insane how much the bounty hunters were 
so much better than like every other character. <laughs> climb, climb, and climb some more. But thankfully, it looks like that's everything up. Uh, okay, well, it looks like we also cleared that tree. So just that tree is left. All right. Well, let's head over that way then. Geronimo! Kind of makes me want to play, uh... And maybe we will after, uh, we're done this. Maybe we'll stick with Star Wars. But maybe after we're done the Lego game, we'll all, uh... Buy Jedi Survivor and we'll go through that game. Because, yeah, I kind of have the urge to play a Star Wars game. I guess I could always go back to play Knights of the Old Republic, too. I never did finish it. Okay, not what I wanted to do. At all. Can I corner it? No. Oh, God, that reminds me. I, uh... have a lot of Lego. Because it's fun putting it together, whatnot, right? And uh, Amazon recommended to me this really nice looking thing. It's like a, it's like floating islands. It's got waterfalls on it, a nice tree, a little like shrine type thing on it, and then like it lights up and plays music, which reminds me I should probably plug that in and see if it does. <laughs> Oh my god, it is one of, it, it's Yushiniv, if you see that brand on Amazon, do not buy it. It is absolutely horrendous to put together. Oh, it work? Um... Because, like, the pieces are really small for one. Which, you know, in and of itself, not the worst thing. They're really small. But then, like, the directions have multiple spots where you can't really tell where the thing is being placed because of the angle that they have the picture at. And then they'll have, like, things that are two different colors, but just barely. And you can't tell the difference between the colors in the book like in the book unless they have both colors in the same step you can't tell what color you're supposed to be putting on uh which for the most part is fine i guess because it doesn't really matter it's mostly like plants and flowers but i mean there's other things where it matters a little bit more um and then they have so many areas where the item, where the, the, there's like bits that are held on by one little nub, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Like, like these little things at top. And then they want you to put, like, so much more shit on top of the part that sticks out from it, you know? Like, you'll have, like, two corner, like, two corners stuck together. I don't know how to open this one. And, uh... And it's, it really got bad at the tree. Okay. Do you have something to say? So, no, you're not useful. Thanks. Uh, but, yeah, it's just absolutely ridiculous that they expect, and then they expect you to build it on there, and then they have it where it's, like, because all the pieces are small as well, right? When you get them together, and you start building them, and they're going, like, across each other and whatnot, they end up wanting you to put things in places where you have to, like, go, like, in and, like, un almost underneath other bricks 
or other things. And then, you know, obviously, because I'm not a small child who, which apparently these things are for six and up. I, there's zero chance a six year old is putting it together. Um, but yeah, because it, uh, because I'm not a small child, you know, when I try and do that, it just ends up breaking the pieces that I'm trying to stick my fingers underneath because, you know, as I said, I'm not a small child. My fa Like, even fucking tweezers, I feel, wouldn't have helped. But yeah, it got to the point where, like, I was building the tree, I gave up. Like, that was the, that was the end of it for me. I gave up at the tree because... It kept falling apart. They had multiple branches. So, like, the trunk was fine. Getting the trunk on together. Like, that was fine. That was just your standard layering Lego on top of each other and to make the trunk. But then it got to the branches and the leaves that go on those branches to make, like, you know, the actual nice part. Like, the nice tree and everything. And, uh... Yeah, they had multiple branches held on with the smallest amount of like connections possible, including multiples that were literally held on, like I said, by the corner. Like you see how they don't let you put these things like just on the end. Like you see how, like let's say this is like six across and they connect four points to keep it sturdy so that you can build it up. Yeah, in this, it literally would have been like this corner of the top one would be attached to this corner of the bottom one. And then they would want you to build the other stuff off of it. Which, as you can probably guess, doesn't fucking work. So I gave up. I got the majority of the tree built and then was like, you know what? It's not worth it. Um... Oh, and there we go. I mean, I got the rest of it built. It still looks fine. There's is like, you know, the start of the trunk right next to the shrine bit where the tree is supposed to go attached to but you know it still looks fine now it's just a couple of floating islands with some uh uh with some waterfalls and you know i got like the the parts that are supposed to like light make it light up and play music in there so i mean i just never plugged it in to see if it actually worked i don't know why it wouldn't though I mean, besides the fact that it's obviously not the most well thought out thing ever. Okay, so how the hell do I get that other one over? Um, but yeah, I bought it for my mom to put together. Because I thought it would be good for her, and she gave up way earlier than I did. Because, like, she would build a bunch of it, and then at some point, you know, she'd be like, hey, I don't know how to get this next part together. And then I'd go through and be like, well, that's because, like, you know, you put, like, this, these, these parts are in, like, the wrong spot or something, you know. And, yeah, she just eventually was like, all right, I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. And gave it to me, gave it back to me to put together. And yeah, like I said, I made it to the uh, to the tree. And I can't help but feel like the uh, because like I went on Amazon, I left a review, and I can't help but feel like the uh, the reviews that were higher up are lying because like all of the reviews that were lower basically said the same thing that I did in my review, which is 
the pieces are so small and they expect you to put them into places where your fingers don't fit and stuff like that. Hey, the data card. Um, and then on top of that, they have... Uh, do I really only have the one thing left? Huh. Uh, but yeah, and then like on top of that, the instructions have uh, certain sections of them that where it's unclear what exact where exactly you're supposed to put stuff the plants and flowers that they have are super flimsy and break super easy um oh that's a shame and they're so clustered together that it's like almost fucking impossible to tell where some of them go Along with it being almost fucking impossible to get them all in the locations they're supposed to be. Like, oh my god, what a cluttered mess it looks like. Okay, how do I get on top of these? Because I could climb up there and glide, but I feel like it wouldn't make it. But I don't know if there is another option. Oh, there is another brick over here, though. Where's this one? Or another something over here. But yeah, like I said, it's called Yushinev. They look very nice. And I will say, like, what I have built still looks really nice. Like, the fact that they use such small bricks, I mean, does help. Uh, does help give you that, like that look because it isn't as much uh, like it isn't as sharp of like turns and whatnot from it okay how the hell do I get to that then? oh I think that's the one I was looking at before uh so, I mean, like I said, it does look nice, but at the very least, once you get to the tree, and, and it's super easy to make a mistake, too, because even the ones where, like, you know what ones you're supposed to be putting there, um, like, it's not like the color's confusing you, because they're super close or anything, but, like, oh, there's still so many of them where, uh, it's so hard to tell which ones like you'll have like a, a six brick but then you'll also have like a four brick and a two brick along with the q brick yeah, anyway dumb joke oh um and then like you'll be looking and it'll and you'll like put it's like okay the six brick goes here and then like you're trying to do something else and it's like oh fuck and then you'll go and look and it's like oh that wasn't the six brick i and you couldn't see like the separation between them so you put the six brick uh in the location where like off the four and the two were supposed to go you know that's not a good example because obviously if uh the four and the two were supposed to go somewhere and you put a six brick instead then wherever the six brick was supposed to go you could just put the four and the two but there's other ones where you can't just easily swap them out <laughs> there are instances where that argument does in fact make sense uh because yeah like just like the separation like even on the page yeah there's Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, we actually like did make it. Um, but yeah, it, like I said, it's not good. Oh, almost, almost fucked that up right at the end.
Boop. Beach button blitz. To be fair, the buttons aren't on the beach, they're above it, but you know, I'll let it slide. Alright. Uh, Alright, well, let's see. Side missions in Kashyyyk. Okay, got the only two that are currently available. Puzzles in Kashyyyk are complete, so I know I got all those. Get them all marked off. Oh, it does look though like we have puzzles in other areas to go to. So something must have unlocked out oh, well, my ways, obviously. Okay, so those were ones that were already done. At least the same. Oh, no, Moss Isley. Oh, we got a new... Oh, we got two new quests in Moss Isley. All right. Well, let's go check out Moss Isley then. 